All right, we're at NAB 2019 here at the DD booth with Andrew. Yeah. Andrew, I'm thanks having for having a lot of fun today. Good, good. You uh, and it's pretty busy here too. It is. Fortunately, this year you morning. gave us a little like quiet room that we can. Try uh, to, yeah. <laughs> um, and you've got some new products. So I have had on on over on our channel, we've had lots of excitement about Deity Connect. Yeah. Um, and you have some new things here to share with us today. Where do you want to start? Okay, so let's start with the lavaliers, and okay. we'll work to the bigger microphones. So we've got WLAV, which has kind of been out for a little while. Uh, now we have WLAV Pro, which is four millimeters. So we've actually shaved two millimeters off the diameter, uh, and it's actually IP57. So that is roughly about the same as a lot of cell phones out there. Okay. Yeah. So IP57, uh, it's practically if you had a big bucket of water dunked on you, not a big deal. Okay. It's almost everything but shy of swimming with the thing. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's very similar to a lot of other lavaliers on the market, so there's already a lot of accessories. So as soon as you buy this lav, when we start shipping them, you'll be able to buy accessories on day one, start hiding it underneath uh, clothing on day two. Okay. So things like Ursa, all their products, yep. all of so, the, the foamies and all yep. that business. Okay. Yeah, a lot of that, uh, the LMCs, uh, okay. the Hida mic stuff we've been testing this morning. Okay. Uh, we're trying to dial in some settings with them to find out how to make it even more snug uh, and make suggestions for customers out there who like the Hida mic products. Uh, as well as some just foam windscreen kind of companies that make sure we're compatible with everything they awesome. make too. Awesome. But you didn't stop there, it no. looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so we make even something smaller called the, the, the WLOV Micro. This is three millimeters, and unlike some other brands that claim three millimeters, we're actually a dead three millimeters, just perfect. So we're actually smaller than a lot of other microphones on the market. And again, we've been working with the accessory makers to make sure that on day one when this ships, that they all have the products here. And at NAB, we're actually showing off a few other accessories okay. for this lava layer. Excellent. So, um, and, and what I've noticed too here is there's a difference in the cables. And so they're probably kind of different use cases for each of these. You want to run through that? Yeah, absolutely. So WLOV's got more of a uh, more durable, more rugged kind of a cable. It's also black. So if you need to show it on camera, just pin it away, show it on a lapel of a suit or anything like that, it just disappears. Right. And that's what really it's meant for. It's an ENG kind of a lav. Uh, this one is meant for more if you need uh, hide it under actors, everyday use. That's why we call it the Pro. It's waterproof, it's everyday use, it's got the durable cable and everything that you really need for guys who are working day in, day out, and all sorts of situations. And the Micro, it's got the most delicate of the lavaliers. This is the special case scenarios where you need to hide it in this obscure piece of fabric, right. this obscure outfit, and it's like, where am I going to put this? Yeah. Yeah. We made the most delicate with the most delicate wire and the most delicate housing, but it's got the exact same capsule as its bigger brother. Okay, so so voicing is so voicing is going to be nearly okay. identical. All right, cool. So this this if I I don't know you probably can't say this, but I can say this. So this reminds me of a Countryman B6 in terms of size, <laughs> um, but this is like a cost 11D if I had to guess. <laughs> so just for people that are wondering what the sizes are like in real life, that's what I'm thinking on that. So, so those are almost like accessories that you could say match this. Okay, excellent. So you could say I could say that, but you couldn't <laughs> say that. So anyway, um, now the next question is termination. So termination, can, yeah. who can which which systems can I use this with? Obviously, Deity Connect. Sure. But how are, how is this terminated? and what are my options? So every single lavalier we make is Microdot along with their new headset, which is also Microdot. So the idea is if you buy stuff, you can grow with our system, as well as if you start shifting brands and you say, hey, you know, Andrew, I like your daily connect, but Electrosonics has got some really cool stuff. I want to move over to Electrosonics. You don't have to worry about all your lavs having to go get re-terminated, send them off to get serviced and everything. Just buy some new connectors for Electrosonics and you can make that migration a lot smoother. I remember in my career, I was a Sennheiser user for a long time with the G3s and some old G2s. And I started to move to Electrosonics and like half of my lavs were one and half were another. And if they got broke, I was kind of out of luck. Yeah or the connectors got broke. So it was always nice to have lobs that could just adapt with everyone. Yeah. Who's in that moving situation where you may have one brand and you're moving to another, helping that transition can always be helpful. Yeah. Now, another challenge with that too is that sometimes those connectors are a little expensive. Do you guys have your own microdot adapters? We have adapters? our own microdot adapters that are compatible with other brands that okay. use the microdot technology. Uh, it's an open source. It actually, I think originally was meant for coax cables. So we're using it for lavaliers. Uh, ours are $29 if you need it for the 3.5 millimeter jack. And that's wired for standard for like Sennheiser, Roadlink, us as well as Sennel. Or if you need uh, the, was it the TA5 adapter? That's for like Electrosonics out there. 
Uh, I think that's $39. Okay. And we also make one more at $39 that's for sure wireless. Okay, excellent, yeah. excellent. Uh, what are we looking like on availability and pricing for these? Can we talk that yet? Yes. Okay. So we're talking about uh, the WLOV and the WLOV Pro. Probably be about shipping in the next 45 days, uh, hopefully. And then this guy will probably look in about midsummer, late summer. Okay. All right. Now, and, and also just to clarify for the Connect system, that is that shipping with this or a different mic? So that's actually shipping with a modified version of our VLOV okay. uh, with a locking 3.5 millimeter, and that little smart box has been removed. Okay. Cool. All right. Excellent. So yeah. good it's news on four different lobs for us. Yeah, good news on the on the lavalier front. So more options out there. I'm excited to test them out and see how they sound. Absolutely. All right. What else have you got? I also have one more thing. And I have not shown this to a lot of people. We haven't even posted photos of this. This is our new pencil mic. We haven't yes. even named this. So right now it's just codenamed DD Pencil Mic. Okay. So eventually, hopefully we'll come up with some kind of really cool name. So we've got an Omni directional capsule. We have a cardioid capsule. We're currently in development of a hypercardioid kind of capsule. Okay. So for those people who've been asking for Deity to make an indoor boom mic, We've been listening, and we're going to make this also match your S Mic 2s. So all that sound quality that you love about the S Mic 2 on access, we're going to give to these capsules so they can cut perfectly in post. Excellent. So <laughs> can I touch it? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> um, another thing, it looks like you put a low cut filter in there, which is added really nice. a low cut because a lot of people that are doing indoor kind of work may be around air conditioners, they may be around you know rumbles and that kind of thing that happen indoors. So we wanted to add that to our indoor microphone. Excellent. And this is. Um, this is a substantial piece here. So yeah. it's short, you know, it's a short uh, boom mic, but it's um, it's fairly substantial. What's it made out of? It's actually made out of the same brass material as our S Mic 2. So the brass properties allow us to be pretty much immune to RF. Uh, so we wanted to carry that over to our indoor microphone. I know a lot of pencil microphones on the market are made out of really, really thin aluminum, and they can be RF nightmares. They can also be real susceptible to humidity. So again, all that kind of stuff we wanted to bring over from the S-Mic 2 into this pencil mic. Excellent. Well, I hope you're the best. I'm, I'm looking forward to a super, a super capsule for this, and that's actually really cool that you can swap them out too. Having an Omni, if you're going to do some sort of, you know, music, even if you're going to do music recording, absolutely. Um, or if you want to get more of an ambient kind of sound, a cardioid is, yeah. is really useful for voiceover. Um, and then having a super for a boom would be just what a dream. Yeah. So, so we're going to again price this very reasonable, just like the S Mic Two was. Cool. All right. So later this year is probably we're going to hear the probably, announcement. Yeah, probably a late summer kind of release on this. Okay. We really want to make sure that hypercardioid is just spot on. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Well, like this is a lot. Yeah. I feel you like want, you all want to talk about your concept over here, just because it's in it's in the shop. It's literally the elephant in the room. So <laughs> <laughs> one thing that we're asking a lot of people here at NAB is to ask us. Uh, what they wanted in a uh, studio microphone. At the end of the day, we ended up making a studio microphone and we thought we made a really good one. Yep. Uh, and then we started to do market analysis and realized we would be the, considered the luxury brand. Yep. And I don't think anyone wants Deity to be the luxury brand at the end of the day. So what we wanted to do was come up with like the Ferrari of microphone features and then ask people here at NAB what they want in their Prius. Because we're going to make something that is truly economical and really great and reliable that you want to use every single day. Um, so we're asking people today, what is it you guys want out there in a podcast microphone? Right now, we've got something that's got different low-cut filters, uh, six different pickup patterns, uh, gain knobs, volume knobs, USB-C, 5-pin XLR, and a headphone jack. Uh, but when we go to market and we actually make something like this, probably about half of these features are gonna go away just to make this super affordable. We're asking you guys out there on YouTube, Facebook, and here at NAB, what features do you guys wanna see from us? Can I say? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> what do you wanna see, Curtis? <laughs> um, I think USB-C is, output is, is really nice. So if yeah. I need to be really lightweight and I'm gonna do an interview with somebody or I'm just, you know, like in a solo podcast, so USB-C is awesome. Um, some of the polar patterns are nice to have, some options there. So obviously cardioid to me seems like a no-brainer. That needs Absolutely. to be in there. Um, I'm not as convinced that Omni needs to be in there unless you're trying to move into the music world, but I don't know if that's really your shtick. No, I can't even play an instrument. Okay. <laughs> I can play the radio. <laughs> so for me, the, like, the Omni is not as important. Um, the figure of eight is interesting, but I don't know how many people are doing mid-side recording. Yeah. It could be interesting, but I, again, not critical. But but if you had, like, if you were going to start with somewhere, I'd just say cardioid is probably the most important thing. Having the, the built-in uh, analog to digital converter so you could just plug it right into a laptop or something would be cool, or an iPad. 
um, and then some a really good you know a decent headphone output so you can monitor in real time. I think that would do it, and it's a large diaphragm condenser. That is a 35 millimeter dual diaphragm condenser. Dual diaphragm. Dual. Okay. So it's one that, condenser. That, that's able to do all this pickup power. Right. So we may drop the dual side and just go with the cheaper uh, right. capsule. Or, or that maybe is a good place to start. Yeah. And then if you find that you want to do something fancier like this at some point, maybe that makes sense too. Absolutely. Yeah. So that was the unsolicited advice for the day. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, S Mic 2, how's it been going? S Mic 2 has been a hot seller for us, but it's also been probably the number one people, uh, the number one product that people have been giving us feedback about. A lot of people out there are like, we love the sound. We love it. We just want it to be a little bit lighter. And we decided, well, let's go full, lighter, and also make it better for indoor use. So I present the S Mic 2 S. Okay. This is a microphone that we think is going to be a, another hot seller for all the S Mic 2 people already out there. You can start using your S Mic 2 in your outdoors, and then this could become your indoor kind of microphone for a while until the hyper comes out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but this is only three ounces. Okay. Uh, it comes in, I think, at like 80... 89 grams, something like that, for all the people out there in Europe and the rest of the world outside of America. <laughs> um, this microphone is super lightweight, also made out of that same brass material, so it's got the same resistance. It's also got the same capsule as the S-Mic 2, so they'll cut together. Okay. We're really trying to put together this family of microphones so that when you invest into the S-Mic 2 or the S-Mic 2S or what essentially may end up becoming the S-Mic 2 pencil, uh -huh. that's, that's a good one. Right. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Um, Whenever you guys get into this kind of family, all your microphones cut together. Okay. We think that it's important that just launching a new microphone that's a different size, different weight, isn't enough. It's also got to make sure that to the owners of our other products, they all kind of sound the same. Okay. So that yeah. when you're out there shooting, you're not having to do a lot of dialogue editing and post, right. trying to match tones of different voices. Yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, so so this one, you could ceiling surf with this one indoors, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Running right up against Absolutely. the ceiling, which is a challenge with so shotguns, even short shotguns, you know, or Mediums, I guess medium shotguns, yeah, yeah. I guess even. But, yeah, um, we all call that other one the short shotgun, but that's an actual this short, is a short shotgun. shotgun. <laughs> that's a short shotgun. Okay, so in the light of the fact that it is shorter, what does that do to the overall uh, like specifications of the product? Sure. So the actual uh, interference tube is only actually about two, maybe two and a half inches long. Okay. So that's actually going to help with your reverberations in the room. That's going to help with that kind of hard reflections that you get. Yeah. Uh, that kind of been a hassle for a lot of shotgun owners out there. They'll hear interesting, weird, and phasing issues because of all those reflections. So a shorter tube ends up being a better sound. Okay. More importantly, also, it means a slightly wider pickup. So less low bar, a little bit more super. Okay. So if you're booming people with a multi-person scene, and they're starting to ad-lib some lines, and you're sitting there going, oh my goodness, I'm just back and forth, back and forth, <laughs> right. you're not going to sit there and stress as much. It's much slower. As much. Yeah. And because of that, the cone's a little bit wider. Okay. It's a little bit more forgiving to people that are just starting out yeah. too. Cool. All right. What is the uh, pricing and availability on that one looking like? This is almost going to be the exact same price as the normal S Mic 2, and we're looking for about a midsummer release. Excellent. Cool. Andrew, thank you so much. You guys thank are you killing guys. it out there. Keep it up. Thank you.